sorry my voice is kind of weird because I have COVID but the, in this episode it's the first one uh, it will be an alternative timeline where Ezekiel didn't uh, wasn't sexist let's say it this way uh, everyone knows the total drama, this is total drama island, everyone knows the deal, probably most of you watch videos like this, not from me but from other YouTubers. So let's start. Uh, first thing is Easy replaces Katie in the first episode and then basically everything happens. And during, uh, after the challenge, uh, Courtney and DJ have the chicken hats because they didn't jump. Uh, Duncan uh, says that Courtney should, uh, could, uh, would be best to be eliminated while Courtney uh, wants Tyler to be eliminated. Uh, but it doesn't really matter in the episode because uh, Ezekiel is sexist. But what if he wasn't sexist? Well, uh, well, most votes would be surely got uh, given to Courtney, so she is out in the second episode, and because first and second episode are basically together. Now the f oops. the third uh, episode is Big Sleep, where mostly likely Eva is out. We could try guessing that Ezekiel, since he's, uh, he lives on the farm, he w could potentially uh, win this, but we don't know for sure, so let's just say that he won't, uh, and uh, keep with the Eva out. Now the fourth episode is uh, uh, the dodgeball episode. And basically, screaming golfers are winning for the first uh, two rounds. And then Courtney decides to wake up, uh, uh, decides that they need to wake up Duncan. But since Courtney is out, they won't wake up Duncan uh, and they will lose. And who would uh, be outed? I would say Tyler because he managed to piss off multiple contestants and a lot of uh, losses in this game was because of him. He also threw the ball at Sadie. So yeah, he's pretty much out. Now the uh, fifth episode is mostly like he uh, dressed him. Uh, we could try saying that uh, Noah would vote for Heather instead of Justin and then they would uh, have like tiebreaker or something. Uh, maybe, it's just a maybe, but in the original wasn't a tiebreaker, uh, the Justin was already out. So at least one vote didn't go for either uh, Heather or Justin. Uh, it was mostly likely five for one uh, votes. So even if Noah would uh, vote for uh, Heather, it would be five five one, which would be a tiebreaker. And I'm pretty sure that Heather would win the tiebreaker. So Justin is still out. The sixth episode is pretty straightforward. Everything happened the same way. The uh, killer keeps lose because of Katie and Sadie. And Katie gets voted out. Not sure why they voted out Katie in the original, because she was clearly a better contestant. Uh, because in the dodgeball episode, he was pretty good. He eliminate, helped eliminate Lashana and helped eliminate Owen and Heather in the first round. The, the, uh, other rounds we don't really see, but she was pretty good uh, player. That's why I think it was not very smart to kick uh, her out. Now the uh, seventh episode starts with uh, Courtney consoling uh, Sadie after Katie was eliminated. And this is where the uh, phobia factor starts. 
And to be honest, we could say that this episode can't start because uh, uh, Courtney wasn't afraid of a jelly or something. But let's be honest, it all goes the same way. And Wu would be out. Uh, let's start with Wu uh, had got the uh, point. Uh, is the kill? Not sure what his fear could be, so we can't be sure whenever he would w win or lose. Uh, Sadie did get a point, so she is uh, not out. Same with DJ. Mm. Wait, what? Probably did. Uh, Joe, Bridget, Dan, uh, Har and Harold didn't get uh, points. So that leaves us with a Duncan and Ezekiel. Duncan doesn't get a point because uh, Courtney can't help him. And Ezekiel is half half. Let's assume that he maybe got a point uh, or something. Not even sure what his fear would be. Something maybe farm related or something la random like Heather being scared of sumo wrestlers. So who would be out? I'm pretty sure that Duncan wouldn't be out here. He would uh, have help of uh, DJ and Geoff. So Geoff wouldn't also be out. No, it's Harold versus Bridget. A relationship between Geoff and Bridget didn't really start yet. And she was pretty clumsy and didn't help much in the fifth sixth uh, and seventh episode so i'm pretty sure that she wouldn't be helpful so i think bridget would be the one out now uh, the killer clips are on quite a big losing streak uh, but that's okay because during eight episodes uh, beth will will get the figure and <coughs> Even uh, and easy will be uh, out 100%, no matter which uh, team will uh, win or lose. So, ninth episode is wait, give me a second is the deer hunting one, the paintball one. And here, I think it would play pretty much the same. Cody is out for some reason. But, I mean, uh, he is kind of disabled in this episode, not sure where half of the response are broken or something because of the bar. So he is out and next episode uh, plays out the same as normal, Beth is out uh, and figure is no more. So uh, changes are now uh, quite the same and now 11th episode is the one with uh, the team challenges. I think Sadie would be out because, um, well, Duncan would have uh, these two and we could try saying that Harold would be the other one out, but Sadie did fail one challenge while Harold could potentially win one. Um, so I'm pretty sure that uh, Sadie would be the one out, not really a big deal. Wait, 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 wait. maybe this is more complicated than I assumed because uh, most of the drama is because of the bunny. Okay, give me a second. First challenge is the one which Gwen and Heather wins. So one point for skimming gaffers. Second one, Leshana wins. Wait, is it like that? Yeah, I think Leshana wins the second one. The... Huh. Then put... 
in third one is Bridget. If I am not wrong, wait, give me a second. Give me a second, I need to check. Okay. First challenge is the one at Climbing Wall, so one point for Climbing Gaffers, they win, easy. Uh, second one is the Eating, well, no matter who will cook, let's say, maybe Harold could cook because he has skills and stuff, <coughs> but, and yeah, uh, this is clear, and Lindsay points on strength, so this is one point for Killer Grips. The next ep uh, challenge is uh give me a second need to check then the bunny goes missing mainly because of uh, bridget and Jeff. not sure if a uh, bunny would be missing uh, without Bridget, but let's assume that it was missing. The next challenge is the one where Katie did uh, hit uh, DJ. Ah, uh, Sadie, uh, Sadie, I meant. Let's assume that Sadie is out for a. Uh, to make it easier. The 12th episode. Uh, this time, uh, I think uh, Harold couldn't vote out Courtney since she's out. <coughs> uh, but as a revenge, I think he would vote out Duncan himself. Which would uh, get him eliminated in the 13th episode. I, I don't think that it would change much. Even if the cast is small. Okay, a 14th episode. Is the eating one? No one uh, loses. And then... Give me a second. Eva and Izzy get back. Doesn't really matter because it's the merge. <coughs> Oops, I have it a little bit too high. And everyone gets to the merge with Noah. So yeah, a 15th episode is Eva is pretty much out, everyone hates her. A 16th episode is the one we're looking for the key i think it will happen the same way Trent is out then 17th episode is the hiding one where they originally voted off bridget uh, but now since uh we just is not here, Duncan is not here, so I think they wouldn't have any reason to even form the alliance, the guy alliance. So, who would get voted out here? I think Heather would be pretty much the one who would have to be out here, but no, she got invisibility. Um, so yeah. Lashana couldn't get voted out because she got invisibility. So who would be voted out? Maybe not easy. It isn't likely that it's easy. <coughs> Maybe Ezekiel? Hard one. Wait, how does voting happens in this episode? Okay, so the... It's... Hmm. Huh, the last three is uh, Duncan, Bridget and Owen. 
Not sure why Owen, maybe Gers, because I just hate him. <laughs> maybe, I'm not sure, sure if they would vote out Owen. But since Duncan and uh, uh, Bridget is not here, I think they could vote out someone else. Uh, Heather and Leshana have been invisibility. Um, hmm. Owen and DJ got eliminated, but he either maybe Gwen or maybe just Owen. Hmm. It's hard to say because it's kind of more like guessing. We could... Uh, okay, I have an idea. Let's make this more uncanny. Everything above this is uncanny, which means it is more like guessing than... Uh, getting it based on the defects. Uh, the more red it is, the more guessing it is and more fun fiki. Uh, let's say. <coughs> I'm pretty certain that the, everything up to 16th episode would play out pretty much the same. But now since we have to guess, Let's say Owen. Okay, we would vote for Wu. The Shana and Heather can't be voted out, so when could potentially vote off? I don't know. Owen? She could. Uh, Lindsay would have to listen to Heather despite uh, starting to dislike her, but. Yeah. Originally, I think that Heather and Lindsay voted for Duncan. But now, since he's not here, maybe not. DJ wouldn't get voted by anyone. Is the killer is pretty much a side character, so he wouldn't be considered a trait much. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could form something between Noah and Owen. So these three would be together and vote for. Maybe let's say Geoff because. Hmm. Maybe not Geoff because. Jeff. Jeff. Because he's like a blue. Maybe Lindsay. Yeah, I'm pretty. Wait, maybe not Lindsay. Let's think. Lindsay wasn't very useful. <coughs> and now we could say that uh, she works with Heather. So that uh, could be the reason to eliminate Lindsay. And let's, this is uncanny, it's just, I'm not sure what to vote out, so let's say it's Lindsay. Just for the sake of it. Not to drag out it too much. Then there is by... Okay, by cycle making. Noah wouldn't win. Clearly, he would break because it's Noah, he's a full of sports. <coughs> is that you could have experience with the bikes he could make a nice bike and make it to the finals for invisibility uh, hmm. and since Heather isn't helped by 
Nehmen Sie. Hm. It's pretty much guess guessing, but I think we could make the case that uh, <coughs> is the kill was the one who, who arrived the last at the uh, finish line because Heather uh, had a little bit cheating by cycle. Then the scaring episode where DJ is out, that's pretty much certain. Then uh, the one where is it out because Oh, the wait was wait did I miss an episode? Uh, yes, the twenty three is one uh, where they cut the animals and is the was out. Then, huh? Here's something interesting. I have actually three pretty interesting pairs that we could make for this episode more interesting that <coughs> than the ones that were before because we have Noah and Owen Heather and Leshana and uh, Gwen and Jeff hmm. you could say that uh, Noah was with uh, Leshana but it's the writers and would, uh, they would make it more dramatic so Heather will, would be the one with Leshana. <coughs> so yeah. Um, first ch challenge here was the eating one, which Owen clearly would win. The second one was the one where uh, Gwen and uh, Jeff, uh, Je Jeff won. And the third, uh, third one, we could say that it was Heather and Leshana. We could say, it doesn't mean that we, they would. We could say that Noah and Owen won. <coughs> Let me see the last challenge, how it happened. Okay. Okay, uh, in this challenge, Gwen and uh, Joff have problems. Owen and Heather are arguing, which we could make the case that the same would happen with, if Heather and uh, <coughs> Leshana was out. So the last ones are, uh, so the winning ones are Noah and Owen. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, they would have invisibility. Now, <coughs> Would be eliminated. We have four four possibilities, and who would win here? Who would get voted out? Well, the Shannon would vote for Heather, same of Gwen. No, and Owen. Uh, pretty sure the also bit would vote for her. <coughs> so yeah, that's how it happens. Then uh, the episode twenty two. Either Joff or Leshana is out, but I'm, I feel let's not just not make it too complicated and so let's say that Leshana was voted out. <laughs> Episode 23 doesn't matter because Owen uh, finds uh, Mr. Coconut and Mr. Coconut is eliminated. <coughs> Now, episode uh, 23 is quite interesting. Um, and originally Gwen and Heather won because Heather managed to trick Duncan. But since neither Heather and Duncan are here, like that. Uh, it doesn't happen. So now let's assume that teams are the same. 
uh, which is Glenn and Joe uh, versus Owen and Noah. I'm pretty sure that Noah would be the skimmer, so he would be one who trick Joe to give them the stuff. So these two are safe and Jeff follows of Jeff. Jeff. Why the fuck do I spell Jeff? Jeff, the weird. <laughs> <coughs> episode. Uh, wait, that was episode 24, my bad. Uh, so yeah, episode uh, 25. Gwen and Owen are doing quite five. They don't team up against Noah. Or maybe we could make the case that Owen teams up with Noah to get out the Gwen, because Noah is the swimmer. <coughs> Let me think. Okay. If uh, Noah teams up with Owen, then Gwen is out. If Owen doesn't team up with anyone, then Noah is out because he is weak. He's a better male, how people describe him. <laughs> so, Owen is 100% in the finale, but I think it would be more canon for Noah to team up with Owen since he's the simmer it, and it would fit him. And Noah wins. We, it's in the finale with Owen. And here's a little bit something weird. Noah is <coughs> okay, not weird but unfair. Noah is very bad at sports, so he would almost certainly uh, lose the finally. So unless we would make the case that. Uh, Gwen gave the Owen the cupcake which Heather made. Uh, we could just go for easy stuff that Noah was the one eliminated <laughs> uh, before uh, they could even form the alliance with Owen or something and finally would play out the same. I think that uh, would be the most logical case. So it's, uh, I'm not sure which uh, of these three would be <coughs> either if Noah or Gwen would be eliminated. But I think that uh, both finalists could be interesting, even if the Noah versus Owen one would be unfair. So yeah. <coughs> 